grace to you and peace from God the Father and Jesus Christ, his Son, the Son of Mary, born for you as testified by the Holy Spirit through the Christmas gospel, that even as the song of the angels rings in our ears, we live with the peace and the goodwill that God has brought to us through that angelic proclamation. Amen. Just imagine those shepherds. There they were at work out in the fields outside of Bethlehem. Out in the dark when all of a sudden the sky is filled with light they see with their own eyes angels from heaven and they hear with their ears that glorious divine melody of heaven glory to god in the highest <coughs> gloria in excelsis deo And peace and good will to men. It's not just a song of praise to God, though it is a heavenly chant of praise to the Almighty. But it's also a proclamation of peace and joy to those shepherds and to all who will hear and believe those words take them to heart and live them live in that peace and that joy that these messengers of god deliver on that most glorious night. So imagine these shepherds as they go into Bethlehem, even as the angels had declared to them, you will find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in a manger. Imagine how that song would still be echoing, ringing in their ears, reverberating in their minds, resonating in the inner chambers of their hearts. So they go and find the babe who is there with Mary and Joseph. And then they go out and proclaim this good news to everyone they could find. And then they go back to the sheep. But not the same. You, dear shepherds, have come here to this inn of Jesus to behold him, born the king of the angels, here in his manger. Here where he can always be found, because it is in this house of the Lord where his word is proclaimed. Not only in our readings, but in our liturgy in the order of service and the hymns and carols it's 60 full minutes when we come in here of nothing but the word of God so that this same 
thing might happen to us as happened to those shepherds of old. Even in the communion service, we join in that song of the angels, the Gloria in excelsis. Glory to God, we give you thanks and praise. Because Jesus is set out before us, not just on this merry second day of Christmas, but every single time we come here, gather together, we gather together with him. For where his word is, he is, because he is the word. He has promised to be where his word and his sacraments are. Given for the joy and edifying and the peacemaking that these words Bring. So this is now our task. This is now our life. Even as those shepherds had that encounter with angels and then with God in the flesh, so this day we experience the same. At times it's hard. It's hard because life is hard. We heard in the story of the patriarchs in Genesis chapter 4 and 5, the words of the father of Noah, Lamech, when he names his son Noah, literally meaning the comfort of God, and then says of this, this one will comfort us concerning our work and the toil of our hands because of the ground which the Lord has cursed. This is now our lot in life. Life will be hard because it's a fallen world. Cursed because of the curse of sin upon it. And we ourselves broken too. And yet God, on this day in particular, but every day we gather here, and every day that you let the song of the angels echo in your ears and mind and heart, have comfort. Because you have peace with God. You are able to live in the joy of Christmas every single day of your life because He is born and accomplishes everything that He had come into the world to do to live the life according to God's commandments that we fallen, frail creatures cannot, that he has come to reverse the curse through his righteousness, which he gives to us as a gift that's bestowed upon you in holy baptism. When you are made a child of God, when you are dressed in the robe of Christ's gleaming righteousness, even as we hear St. Paul teach that to St. Titus in our epistle for this day. You've already been absolved of your sins, having confessed them to God and having heard his response, I forgive you all your sins. And you all are invited here to his Christmas feast, the very flesh and blood of your flesh and blood Savior, crucified, resurrected, ascended, and now descended from heaven again through the power of his word upon that bread and wine 
that declares it also to be his body, his blood, given and shed for you for the remission of sins this day. Glory to God in the highest. And to us here gathered in this place on earth, his peace and our goodwill towards each other. As this word and these sacraments strengthen our faith towards God and our love towards one another as it becomes more fervent. We become more and more committed to living the life of God's commandments because we see that they are good, that they are the way of love. Even as we contemplate in our catechism reading for this day, the seventh commandment, that we should not steal. For indeed, we should not take anything of God's or our neighbor's and thereby rob God of the glory of being the good and gracious giver. And where we ha may have done so, he invites us to his very presence so that we can do it all over again. Confess, hear his forgiveness, and let his glory reign upon us, shine into us, and fill us Yes, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill towards you all. Mary's second day of Christmas. Amen. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen.